No way. That's so sick. What's going on guys? It's your boy Scare Soldier back with another Borderlands 3 video and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the Breath of Dying. Now the Breath of Dying is a Dow assault rifle that had been given a couple of adjustments which we're going to take a look in a second but look at those base stats guys 16,000 damage practically with really good accuracy handling reload time and fire rate so that is really impressive. Now this gun only comes in corrosive element so if you guys are farming it be aware it's only in corrosive. Now the one thing you do want to know is to make this weapon better you're going to want to look for splash damage splash damage radius and also assault rifle damage are some really good go-to um, roles for your class mod to make this gun better because the legendary effect occurs when you kill an enemy so we're going to be talking about the actual effect in a second but first i'm going to show you guys where to farm the weapon so let's go ahead and check that out to farm the weapon, you're going to have to go over to Necrotophea and you're going to want to go over to Desolation's Edge. Now, out of the two fast travel stations, I recommend going to Desolation's Edge Drop Pod. That's the closest to where you're going to want to go. And the enemy you're going to be looking for is the Blinding Banshee. It's a crew challenge. He's right over here um, in this little corner. He's a pretty easy kill. So we're going to go ahead and kill him for you guys to see if maybe we get lucky enough to get a Breath of Dying to drop on camera. But he's right over here guys and pretty easy target to kill we absolutely wiped him out with zane now let's just kill this death skull to see if he dropped it for us and we also have one more target up here all right and yes we got one guys breath of dying so I wanted to show you guys also the special effect of this weapon because this is one of the most powerful special effects in the game from my experience honestly like there, this one's definitely up there in some of the best special effects I've seen out of a legendary weapon. Now when you shoot this weapon it feels like a normal DAL assault rifle but watch over here guys because this special effect is crazy. So after you kill this enemy guys look at those orbs. Those orbs if they hit an enemy will do millions of damage, all right? So that's the main specialty of this weapon. So you're gonna see we're gonna do some normal shots on this boss over here, the jackpot. And base damage wise, it's actually pretty good. I mean, it's melting quite well. Keep in mind, the special effect cannot be activated. And this special effect, once we killed him down to that meaty phase, broke him. Look, he's not even going to spawn back up, guys. I think we broke the jackpot. But anyways, we're going to take this over to the Maliwan takedown because jackpot is now broken because we broke him with the Breath of Dying. All right, guys, so we're at the Maliwan takedown where we're going to be testing out the Breath of Dying. I have a, quite a bit of tips for you guys with this gun because it's actually really, really nice. And I'm going to also address exactly what Gearbox did to adjust this weapon. So first, for the adjustments, they increase the DPS and orb projectile damage. They also increase the orb collision radius to increase the chance of it hitting. And finally, they increase the orb damage. So really, what we can take away from that is that the orbs or at least the special effect of this weapon is the most important part of this weapon because that is what gives you guys the most damage. Now to optimize this weapon guys, this is where you guys are gonna wanna pay attention because this is where it counts. So first things first, as an artifact, one of the most important artifacts you're gonna wanna have is going to be a flesh melter. Now the flesh melter is not a meta type of artifact that my, many people use or you will see on YouTube very often, but it is a very solid artifact. Now the way the artifact works is that you're going to be getting bonus corrosive damage every time you kill enemies with corrosive. Now luckily for you guys is that you have no other option when it comes to the breath of dying because it only comes in a corrosive element so every time you get a kill with this weapon you're going to be getting stacks of corrosive damage to make this gun even stronger now those stacks can go up to five times and every kill you're going to be getting 27 percent extra corrosive damage so i believe when it's all said and done you're getting roughly 130 percent corrosive damage at max stacks added onto your breath of dying which is quite insane so the flesh melter is going to be nice now the beauty of this gun is because those orbs are so powerful and can kill multiple enemies extremely quickly you're going to be getting those stacks very fast now with an artifact of that caliber you're going to also want to add area of effect because you want to make sure the effectiveness of those orbs is increased and the area of effect is going to be a perfect way to do so now when it comes to class mods, as I address guys, you're gonna wanna have the roles of splash damage, splash damage radius, and also assault rifle damage. You want assault rifle damage so that you can kill an enemy even faster to 
to trigger that special orb to come out of the enemy to kill more enemies for you. And then the splash damage and splash damage radius is going to increase the effect overall of those orbs. So that's my biggest tips for equipment. Now, when it comes to the gun itself, there's a couple things that you guys must know because with the weapon, it's very specific. You do not want to add annoyments that include elements. If you have elements such as any element in the game, like if you're using Sentinel Cryo, if you're using URAD, if you're using the next two mags, if you use shock damage, any type of elemental damage you add to this gun will screw you because that element will also help you guys kill enemies. And if that element kills the enemy, which it most likely will, you will lose the effect of the gun. So absolutely no orb will spawn in and you're going to think the gun is mediocre. So what you want to do for annoyments is you want to look for consecutive hits, action skill and give yourself 100% damage. You can even do things with 200% splash damage to make those orbs hit even harder. So you can play around with that, but please do not add any elements. That includes elements from passives like Skag's Den from Moe's and even uh, the Trick of Light from Zane. So just be careful with that, guys, because you will screw yourself. So make sure you stick true to the weapon and that's that. Now... Other than that guys, the weapon I think has one of the best special effects in the game and I kid you not, um, a lot of the legendary weapons that are actually good in the game have not that crazy special effects, it's just that they're overall great weapons like the Hellwalker, the Hellwalker was just extremely strong last time we tried it, um, the Chaos was also just quite strong as well as a weapon. Now the special effect is what makes this weapon so cool because when you kill an enemy you can kill let's say a smaller enemy and those orbs will hit so hard against any other big enemy so for example since we're at the mountain one we'll take down we have wotan wotan is a big target that clearly has way more health than a trooper would if you kill a trooper with this weapon and you get those orbs to spawn in and if that orb hits wotan you will one shot him that's how powerful the orbs are and you can play around with it so the key with this weapon is being smart understanding how to use the weapon and overall you will get the most out of this gun because i kid you not it's amazing it's super fun to use and the last thing i want to address is the play style because a lot of people may think that oh the play style you know what you should do with the weapon is freeze an enemy and then switch to this weapon and then kill him and then switch back if you guys want to keep swapping through freaking weapons then be my guest but you can literally just main this weapon and go through the maliwan takedown like you see in this gameplay with ease just understand how to use the gun you pick one target make sure he's around a couple enemies and those orbs will do the work for you guys so that's what you need to know about the weapon i hope you guys found this video informative as well as entertaining i'll catch you in the next one it's your boy scare soldier signing out peace